I need to record a voiceover. So we're gonna go ahead and run to the garage real quick. Let me grab my microphone. Uh, actually, yeah, I need to grab my microphone, but not this microphone. Uh, but in terms of what we need to do for this video, um, recommended accessories versus minimum requirements uh, if you wanna be able to record a video. The minimum requirement is you need a cell phone that can record video. If you have a cell phone that's at least two years old, um, you're in a very good place because the like uh, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, they almost always have two cameras. So you can go wide angle, you can go tight angle, you can get a little bit of a little bit of that blurry background. And phones nowadays also have a whole ton of accessories like microphones, right? This here is a Rode Wireless Go. Uh, I, I tend to use it because it gives me cleaner audio. Uh, you can plug it into your phone and get some decent quality um, acoustics. Um, it also helps if you're recording in a space that's also um, sound dampened like in my vehicle right now. Uh, the other accessory is uh, essentially any kind of uh, like a grip right i just kind of put this together basically took a car mount uh for a, a cell phone and uh and i basically put a, a pistol grip on it so this way i can walk around but these are not required you can just use your handheld your hand hold your phone uh and that's what i'm going to do here i'm just going to hand hold my phone i'm actually now using the ultra wide angle lens on my phone because i've got a few lens options so i got my microphone connected and welcome to the mess of a uh, studio garage that we have here. Um, the microphone I am looking for is actually gonna be somewhere in here. Let me see, can I turn on the flash? Boom, there you go, that's helpful. Um, so, see, just like that, although this is kind of bright and annoying, uh, it comes in handy. And now I'm seeing a black spot uh, in my vision. All right, here we go. Here's a microphone. Um, is this the right kind of microphone and is there a battery in here? So let's see here. One, yep, there's battery. Let's see if it's uh, if it's got juice. Let's turn this thing on. Battery should be appropriate. If I'm tapping this thing, you'll notice that the thing uh, that is uh, plenty loud. Let's uh, let's grab the mic stand. So this way, if I need anything of this sort, I'll be fine. So you'll notice that this is a little bit of a tighter angle, and uh, and. Right now, there's a garage over there. Let me go ahead and cut to something tighter. My phone also has a uh, telephoto angle, as you can see right here. Um, this comes in handy if you wanna get into a tight shot. Um, and this is very useful, especially for vlogging and things like that. It's kinda like the GoPro angle. And so, let's go ahead and get back into the car. If you were wondering, this is exactly what the quality of the selfie cam looks like. Um, you can absolutely record using the selfie cam. Just driving back to the apartment. Why wouldn't you use the selfie cam? Uh, or why you would. One of the perks of using selfie cam is that you know exactly how the um, uh, how the framing is looking like. You know exactly in terms of the um, uh, you know uh, where everything's at. You know what it looks like, so there's no issues in regards to like the only thing that you kind of miss out on in terms of the selfie cam is like if you want some of that background blur. And just to kind of show you the difference between selfie cam versus the rear cam. We're using the rear cam, uh, which is the higher quality image and you'll notice there's a little bit of background blur the image might be a little bit cleaner a little bit brighter um, a little bit less noisy but i don't know i can't see myself i i don't know what i look like uh, which is fine in the sense that like i know the camera was exactly where it was before almost uh and so the frame is going to be similar in this regard so yeah i mean it's uh this is one of the perks ups and downs of using selfie cam another accessory that tends to be also helpful is maybe you can even get a uh additional um uh, lens that you can even attach on your phone but it's not necessary uh it tends to be it can be helpful it can be useful so uh what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and mount this right onto my uh this i got this grip here different accessories aren't required they're helpful what i do is i basically sometimes use my cell phone over here um, i could use it here i could use it here i usually mount my cell phone right over here for navigation purposes um if i'm on a zoom meeting and i need to get in the car this is a good place to have um and then this also comes in real handy i can just put it up over here let's go ahead and record this this voiceover all right here we go um i think we're recording let me just double check oh all right, here yeah. This is one of the challenge. One of the things about uh, whenever you're recording on on a cell phone, especially using the front camera, um, 
you can't see, right? So you got to make sure you're recording first before you flip it around. And why not use a selfie camera? You absolutely can. But um, the best quality image you're going to get is from the, you know, the, the main cameras of the, of the thing. The difference, as you can see, in quality between two microphones, as we have here in terms of the Rode Wireless Go versus the Shure SM57 recording into the DR10LX or 10X. Uh, yeah, DR10X. Uh, that's the difference in quality. So what I'm going to do is before I start recording, I'm going to get uh, five seconds of silence, aka room tone. But this is actually a very quiet room to begin with. So here we go. Hold five. The reason we hold five and we hold our breath so we don't end up breathing into the microphone. <sighs> <laughs> you don't want to do that because it's going to come off as um, it gets annoying and you're not going to do any noise reduction or amplification to the uh, to the audio on the mic. So anyway, so here is the line just for context in terms of what we're recording. A guy I admire and follow on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, he's actually gotten really heavy into Unreal Engine and meta human creation with CGI stuff. And it is just brilliant. If you want to check him out, um, I'll put a link uh, and also I'll link up his YouTube channel at the end of this video. He's also heavily into Star Wars and I love it. Um, and so he, what he's done is he's uh, I guess he's reached out to add uh, different folks to kind of give a piece of a voiceover a character someone who's made a bet with Bo-Katan anybody who's into Star Wars or the Mandalorian or uh, Clone Wars or Rebels will know who that is if you don't know feel free to look it up uh, I'm the character who made a bet with Bo-Katan and basically they played a prank on a dude it's just literally one line <laughs> and so the idea i already submitted something earlier uh but it uh, came off a uh, way too serious and it was supposed to be like a funny thing so i'm redoing it so the line goes i freaking knew it uh or if i if you were to use a star wars fake uh fake slur you could say i criffin knew it uh and uh, the line is i freaking knew it uh, drinks is a virgin. There's a new line added, bo you owe me 500 credits. So here we go. <laughs> I knew it. bo you owe me 500 credits. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Drinks is a virgin. bo you owe me 500 credits. <laughs> that's my over caffeinated <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> that's, I'm just way over caffeinated right now alright here we go here we go <laughs> I freaking knew it drinks is a virgin bo you owe me 500 credits <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> There's a lot of fumbling here. A lot of fumbling. <laughs> I freaking knew it. <laughs> I'm messing up my line. <laughs> dranks, dranks, dranks. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Dranks is a virgin. Yo, Bokatan, you owe me 500 credits. <laughs> uh, I knew it. Dranks is a virgin. Yo, Bokatan, you owe me 500 credits. <laughs> I knew it. Dranks is a virgin. Yo, Bokatan, you owe me 500 credits. <laughs> Uh, I feel so silly. This is a totally different vibe from any of my other videos I ever put up online. All right, here we go. One more time. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Dranks is a virgin. Yo, bo -Katan, you owe me 500 credits. I'm assuming by this point, you've already downloaded the uh, the app, which is Quick from GoPro. What would a GoPro Quick edit look like? Where I go into the garage, grab my mic, come in, say the line just once, right? This is what this would look like edited on my phone. How would I edit that on my phone? Something that's quick and simple and easy. And if you wanted to add a, uh, a little bit of a tacky um, audio clip or whatever, then you can certainly do that too. Um, there's a bunch of, I'll walk you through that. So this is where the, that tutorial starts. <laughs> 